Stereotype here for VitaNation.us. We're doing our video review of Harry Potter years 5 through 7, or Harry Potter 2, whatever you want to call it, for the PlayStation Vita. Um, this game is pretty much like all the other LEGO games that are out there. There's a lot of fun stuff to do, a lot of things to collect, and um, it's pretty much fun for everybody. Um, like I said, I'm 29, 30 years old, and one of the two, I'm not quite sure which. But uh, I have a lot of fun with this game as well, and, um, you know, I don't even know what the storyline is for the most part. I, I just know what little bits I've, I've gone through myself uh, in the movies. But um, graphically, this thing is beautiful, as you can tell. Let me lower it down so maybe you can see. That would be a bonus, right? Let's do a little bit of gameplay here. Coins are always good. you got to be a true wizard, right? So as we go down the main hall here, a lot of the puzzles are very simple, but they uh, will fool you because eventually these will get so damn hard that uh, you'll get locked up and you won't know what the hell is going on. Uh, such as myself and the little levels, which is why I started the game over for this review. Um, unfortunately, some of them are just a little too hard to uh, to master for me. I'm sure my kids could do it, but I'm, I'm not my kids, and I have a little bit harder time doing it than they do. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned the patch or not, so I'm just going to say it again. If you do not have an internet connection, this game does require a patch to work properly. If you do not have that patch, uh, you won't be able to make a patch chapter 2. So with that out of the way, um, without an internet connection or access to the internet to get this on uh, a Wi-Fi connection, don't buy this game. Um, I was able to pick this up for $19.99 at GameStop. It's $39.99 everywhere else, so that's a pretty darn good deal. Uh, so I figured, why not? We'll give it a shot. Uh, so for those of you wondering why I don't let my kid play this, but I have Harry Potter, that would be the reason why. I'll draw this guy a roof. But there's always tons and tons of things to do in these LEGO games, which is what makes them so great. And they do a really good job of telling the story while keeping it fun and simple. Um, I give it a 4 out of 5. Uh, no questions about it. If there wasn't a need for a patch, it may actually be a 4.5 out of 5. Um, it's that good. Uh, this is definitely a purchase uh, if you can find it, especially if you can find it for 20 bucks. There's no way to, to pass that one up. But uh, that's it for now. Uh, 4.5 out of 5. This is a stereotype of VitaNation.us. If you like our videos, be sure to comment in the sections below. Um, subscribe or give us a thumbs up. Give me something to let me know that you like these and you want more. Alright, thanks for watching.